no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction and today I want to go over with you guys something that likely the gurus on YouTube have not told you about. They haven't told you about this and it's how the bench press can actually affect you in a negative way. And this is through the form that so many of these people, they show you. And it's not just me saying this, I got a source to back me up here. I got a source to back me up. So the thing that I'm talking about is weightlifter shoulder, also known as distal clavicular osteolysis, and it has to do with your AC joint or your chromioclavicular joint, which is right here. It's for your clavicle or your collarbone right here. You can follow it on yourself where it meets your chromion or the edge of your shoulder blade. So where those two meet is your AC joint, which is right about here in my stuff. I feel it right about here. I'm good at this, good at this palpation stuff. So. When you do the bench press, essentially, well, let me first explain to you what happens when you get this thing, when you get weightlifter shoulder, essentially the edge of your collarbone, your clavicle, the bone there, it begins to erode away. It begins to erode and you get inflammation, pain there, weakness, painful, it's painful to touch there. So it's not good. And here's how the bench press can lead to this. Essentially, when you bring the bar all the way to your chest, you're extending your elbow past your body, right? That's often the case, very much. Especially with me, because my arms are very long. I'm six foot one, but I think my arms are like 6'10 wingspan or something. I have very long arms. But anyways, I should do boxing, I really should. I think that's the sport I'm gonna take up. But anyways, when you do this, you extend your arm past your body, you are placing a lot of stress on your AC joint. And here's the article, essentially, when you extend your arm past your body on the bench press, it places significant stress here. So that's not too good. So what should you do to avoid this? What should you do? Well, it's rather easy to do. What you can do is stop the bar about two inches before it touches your chest. And that way your elbow is not extending beyond your body and not placing this excessive stress on your AC joint, which could lead to this symptom, which could lead to this whole condition potentially down the road. So say you're 20 years old, you're doing this all the time, by the time you're 40 you could get this. So that's one thing you could do, stop the bar about 2 inches above your chest. Another thing you could do would be to bench press on the floor, do it on the floor. Because when you do that, the floor is obviously going to block your elbows. So that's something else you could do, and hopefully that advice helps you out. You could also put towels on your chest, that's going to encourage, that's going to stop the bar. But you could do it to your chest, you might get more chest activation, but there's a risk and reward thing in all exercises. There, there's a risk and a reward, just remember that. So hopefully that helps you guys out, hopefully that enlightens you, as opposed to what all the other people do on here, they don't seem to help you much at all. It's just the same old recycled stuff. You gotta admit that the stuff I teach you, it's pretty new compared to what all these other, let's call them goofs on here teach you. But anyways, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like the video, Thumb it up, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.